on your famine has been. God is getting ready to position you for your comeback. I'm so grateful to God that my setbacks were really only a setup for the Bible tells us. Tell your neighbor the Bible says that she came back to her city. And when she came back to the city, there were squatters in her house. There were squatters on her land. Here she's coming back to what God had given to her, but yet can't seemingly possess the land. Tell your neighbor you're going to get it all back. And you're going to get it back with interest. The Bible tells us that those that she had entrusted her stuff with, those that she thought would have her back, now were acting like strangers. They were acting crazy and not wanting to relinquish the very thing that she owned and possessed. And so she made up in her mind, I'm not going to settle for anything but what rightfully belongs to me. There comes a point in time in your life where you've had so many setbacks. You've had so many things go wrong. You've had so many things go bad. But you make up in your mind that the next go around. I don't care what I have to do in order for this thing to work. I'm going to make it work by the grace of God. And God's going to give me the wisdom and insight as to what to say and who to say it to. And so she made up in her mind that even though this is a setback, it really is a setup for me to get back everything that belongs to me. I hear the Holy Ghost say, you have the green light to proceed and get your stuff back. You have the green light to proceed and possess the land. You have the green light to get back whatever the devil stole from you. Tell your neighbor you got the green light to proceed. And don't do it with caution. You don't have a yellow light. Because you know a yellow light signifies caution. It signifies yield. A red light signifies that you need to stop but the green light says that you have the right of way and that you shall proceed I stop tonight to tell somebody go ahead and proceed I prophesy to your situation and declare to go forth in the power of the Lord go forth in a strengthened mind She goes to the king. The king has conversation, not with the woman, but with Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, and says to Gehazi, tell me what happened with this situation. Gehazi goes down to the story and says she was without child, has a baby. By the word of the prophet, the baby dies, or rather the child dies, and the child come back to life by the actions of the prophet. The prophet told her to leave the city, and now she's back, and this is the woman, and this is the boy. I hear the Holy Ghost say, I've appointed people to your life to facilitate your blessings. I've appointed people to your life to facilitate your blessings.
facilitate your increase. I'm appointing people to your life to facilitate your overflow. I'm appointing people to your life.